Welcome to our third quarter market review for 2015. Thus far in 2015, we have almost scripted the performance of the market to a T. Going into 2015, we hoped and expected to have a decent start with a goal of pulling a little risk off the table if the market was up sometime in the second quarter, which we were able to accomplish near the market high. Then we expected a pullback of somewhere between 10 and 15 percent, probably somewhere between June and October, which also happened. Finally, we expected the year to finish up positive, which to date has taken place given the turnaround that we had in October. The only problem we had with our crystal ball was a strong belief that the actions of the Fed were going to be the catalyst for the downturn when instead it was Greece, China, and energy. The problem this has provided for us as your investment advisors is our stance has remained the same on the certainty that at some point in the near future, interest rates are going to rise and this dampens our desire to currently put some more equity into our portfolios. Additionally, our performance has been impacted as rates have actually decreased in the past four months, having a negative impact on the fixed income positions we have chosen to hold as we want these holdings positioned for a rising rate environment. We have also gravitated over the past year or so to a heavier allocation in international holdings where we believe there is currently more value compared to the domestic market. International started off the year much stronger than domestic, but due to the issues overseas, particularly in China, they have underperformed domestic equities for Q3, but had similar year-to-date returns. So a quick overall market review. As mentioned, rates actually decreased in Q3 with the 10-year Treasury going down 0.29%, putting the rate at 2.06%. To put this in perspective, if rates on a 10-year Treasury go up 1%, this leads to over an 8% loss and vice versa. Your portfolio is positioned for a rising rate environment, but rates going down negatively impacts this. Thus, until rates actually do start to increase, our fixed income positions are going to underperform. However, we are not willing to take the short-term risk and invest fixed income differently, as it is not a matter of if, but when the rates are going to increase. For the quarter, U.S. equities posted a 7.2% loss as measured by the Russell 3000. Every single broad U.S. equity sector was negative for the quarter, with small cap growth performing at the worst with a loss of 13.1%. We virtually eliminated all small cap growth from our portfolios earlier this year, though it would be one of the positions that we would look to get back into if we get more comfortable with securities. Energy was down 17.4% for the quarter and has been very negative for four, for four quarters in a row. We are starting to believe that there's some value here, but we would still consider this to be a risky investment. International equities posted a 10.2% loss for the quarter. Again, all broad international sectors were negative for the quarter. Europe was the top performing region, but it was still down 8%, while emerging markets were down 17.2% as China was the main culprit. We do carry an allocation of emerging markets in our dynamic growth portfolio and have decided to maintain the position as we believe it has slipped into undervalued territory. Due to the increased global market volatility, the Fed decided to hold short-term rates steady at their meeting in September. It is my belief this was a mistake and ultimately was viewed by investors as a lack of confidence in the recovery of the economy and that led to an increased sense of uncertainty. Selfishly, it also delayed the inevitable, which we have been planning for in our portfolios for over a year now. As more variables come into play with the timing of the Fed's first rate hike, signaling a tighter monetary policy moving forward, uncertainty is going to remain. Even though investors have enjoyed the benefits of a low interest rate environment for some time, a rate hike would be a signal that the U.S. economy is on strong enough footing for continued growth. As of the end of the third quarter, the Fed continues to signal that a rate hike is likely before the end of the year. Aside from the management of investments, Ruji Wealth had quite a busy third quarter. Our newest book, Ruji Rules, was released towards the end of the quarter. I wrote the book with some assistance from two of our other advisors, Lou Shineman and George Romero, as well as our marketing guru, Cheryl Gerlich. This book is 25 years in the making and ironically has 25 rules I would suggest anyone who is looking to hire a financial advisor should consider. We have incorporated these rules into our television commercials we are running on Bright House and Comcast in Lake and Sumter County. Please contact Sarah at our office if you would like a free copy of the book. I would also encourage you to request a copy for others you know who may benefit from our services. 
Next, we have aligned ourselves with a company called RetireMap to provide an extension of the financial wellness planning we have been working on within our 401k management company for about a year now. This is going to change the way we provide 401k services going forward and will have a huge impact, not only for the business owners, but also for the participants in the plan. If you would like more information on these services, please do not hesitate to contact us. I can honestly state we have the best overall team in place at Ruji Wealth that we have ever had. Everyone is in full alignment with our core values and our client-centric culture within the firm. We have shaken things up over the past six months or so, and I personally have the clearest vision in place for both myself and our firm that I've ever had. We just hired Colleen Arredondo to be an administrative assistant. Once Colleen is fully trained, she will work out of our office in the villages, and Ifia Stainrod will move from the villages and split her time partially in Tavares and partially in Winter Park. So we also have some goals for the fourth quarter of this year. We would like to hire a salesperson for our 401k business. We have so much to offer on the 401k side that completely sets us apart from our peers, and we also have tremendous opportunity to grow this business significantly given our partnership with IOA or Insurance Offices of America. Speaking of 401k plans, not only are we putting significant focus on the employee wellness concept, but for high earning business owners, we are adding tremendous value in offering cash balance plans, which offer the owners of companies the ability to shelter hundreds of thousands of dollars more into a retirement plan. This has become a very strong area of focus for us. We are seriously contemplating a robo-advisor option to offer to clients and prospects. We understand there is a trend in a segment of the market going towards this option, which provides clients with proactive portfolio management and management tools that allow them to do their own planning without the use of a dedicated financial advisor. We have not changed our belief that most investors are better served by having a relationship with a knowledgeable, dedicated advisor, yet we also recognize there is still part of the market that would prefer this type of an option. We plan to have our Winter Park office completely remodeled by the end of the quarter. We are evaluating a company which would allow us to do the majority of our paperwork with clients all online. And then finally, I am developing a team I call Genius Network, which consists of some clients as well as some individuals who are not clients. Part of this is to assist in the future vision of our firm with the main goal of continuing to add value to our clients. In closing, thank you all once again for your continued trust and confidence in our firm. While circumstances have prohibited some growth from some of our investment holdings, we are confident we maintain the correct long-term vision for our clients and want to remind you that the investment process is a marathon, not a sprint. Rest assured, one thing you can always count on is that we are making decisions for you based on what we believe is best for you. As a reminder, let us know if you would like a copy of the Ruji Rules book for both yourself and or someone else who may benefit from our services. Have a great quarter, a happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, and a wonderful holiday season. Thank you.